Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me in today's video. Thank you all so much for the feedback on my last painting. It really did mean so much to me that every one of you have given me such beautiful comments on the prophetic painting that I had done. This painting is a little bigger than my previous one and I was really excited to take on this challenge since God has been putting different visions and things inside of my heart to paint. And this one was very new. God has been taking me through this journey and I couldn't wait to put this vision that I had in prayer onto canvas. Of course, before any painting, I sit in the presence of God and I just wait on him. I dance in his presence. I worship. And I think this is so important for me just before I can start my painting and during my painting just sit and talk to God, speak to him, worship him throughout this entire painting. One morning a few months ago, I remember being on my knees in prayer. And from my knees, I went down further with my hands put forth, opened and my head to the ground. And I remember staying in this position for some time as I worshipped and cried out to God. This moment in prayer was so amazing it felt as if i was not in this natural world it felt as if i was in the throne room of god and that's exactly where i was i remember not even thinking about anything else but just being in the presence of god and as my hands was before me i felt the feet of jesus just brush by me i remember feeling like he's pouring out something into my hands and in that very moment, after having that experience with God, I came to a point of surrender. And the word surrender kept on going on in my head. The surrendered position is what I had. As God began to minister in and through my heart on that day, as I came towards the end of my prayer, there were specific words that God had given me. It was water, oil, blood, milk, honey, rainbow, fire. Those were the words that God had given to me. The words overflow came straight after I had seen a vision of golden pots as each of the substance flowed beautifully upon a woman in prayer. I saw a surrendered position, her head to the ground and her hands lifted up. Her hands was opened in a position of surrender. The woman resembled mankind, not a specific woman, but a child of God. The word surrender and a surrendered position was the same thing that kept on uh, going through my mind as I began to ponder on the word of God. The word surrender means to yield to the power, control or possession of another. It means to let go, to release. Romans 12 one says, I appeal to you therefore brothers by the mercies of God to present your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable worship. Proverbs 23, 26 says, My son, give me your heart and let your eyes observe my ways. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away and behold, the new has come. God has showed me that in this position of surrender, there is an abundance of heaven. Each portion, each substance, God has given freely to the one that surrenders their heart, that surrenders their will, their emotions, and their life to God. The water. God says, For I will pour out water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. I will pour out my spirit on your offspring and my blessing on your descendants. Oil. Hebrews 1, 9. You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your companions. 1 Samuel 16.13 says, Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed David in the midst of his brothers. The blood of Jesus. This speaks on Matthew 26.28. This is my blood covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins, says Jesus. 
Ephesians 1 7 in him we have the redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace milk and honey numbers 13 27 thus they told him and said we went into the land where you sent us and it certainly does flow with milk and honey this is its fruit the rainbow genesis 9 12 the rainbow that i have put in the sky will be the sign to you and to every living creature on earth it will remind you that i will keep your promise forever ezekiel 128 as the appearance of the rainbow in the clouds so was the appearance of the surrounding radiance like such likeness of the glory of god fire exodus 3 god appeared to moses in a burning bush the bush was aflame but the fire did not consume it god reveals power and his presence and fire represents the illuminating light this woman is ignited with the fire of god but she's not consumed by it this was the picture of me writing quickly all of the things that god had showed me and i sketched it out so quickly and this is the final result of the painting and as i began to wait on god and do exactly what he's called me to do i just felt such a presence and an abundance of heaven that has been opened when we do surrender the word surrender and the surrendered position is not just words but god has been giving me the dimension that can come with this surrendered position every time you give up your will your emotions your body your mind your soul and everything that is within you to god and you surrender it all to him you are basically sharing your life with him and saying father i give it all unto you so that he will be able to protect you this position brings in an abundance over your life it brings in milk and honey which speaks of the abundance of god the fruit that can come forth even in the time of famine and in the time where everything else feels like it's falling apart in other lives you will be the one that will flourish and give people hope and you will be that hope and god is sharing that his blood has saved you that you do not have to be living in sin or in in a place of sadness but god has given you a freedom in the spirit he's given you the fresh water to drink every single day and the water he's speaking about is the spirit of god he will never leave you nor will he forsake you god is ready to pour out his blessing upon you his promises are true and is everlasting and he will ignite you with a fire of heaven that will not consume you but you will be ignited with his presence at all times thank you for joining and hearing what god has to say through my art i am so blessed to announce that i have now opened up my very own art business called tahila art you can follow me on instagram and follow all of the updates that i will be posting soon you can now order your favorite paintings done by me which will be printed onto canvas in various different sizes here are a few examples of an artwork that I've done and this is the print version that you can order. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.